video is brought to you by OpenMesh, making Wi-Fi smarter and simpler. Hello, this is Bob Pellin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be talking about OpenMesh's A40 Wi-Fi access point. So let's take a quick look. This is a 802.11 AC cloud managed access point. So as you can tell, it's standard packaging. small booklet that explains to you how to set it up, how to put the screws in and so forth. You're going to hang it up. There's the unit. And the mounting bracket. And in the back of it you're going to find a few other accessories such as these mounting brackets as well as very small ethernet cable. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit quickly. As you can tell, the unit is pretty easy to, uh, to work with. Alright, so let's take a quick look on how this connects. And again, this is um, powered by power over Ethernet. So inside of here we've got two Ethernet connections. And the way that it gets its power is through, as you may have seen in my last video, a power over ethernet injector. And what that is, is a box which has power on one side and it has two connectors there. And as written on top, it says LAN on this side, PoE and power. So obviously the power comes from the power cable. You would then put your PoE cable here, plug this in there, and your network itself that's coming in from your router or from your switch plugs into here. So this would allow you to send the power directly into this. So a single wire goes, put this onto the ceiling, and you're good. Now the A40 has four antennas, so it'll give you between 300 and 867 megabits uh, per second. There's an installation kit as I mentioned, so you can put it onto a T-rail ceiling, a solid ceiling, and of course a wall. Uh, if you're gonna put this outside, you can also put this onto a pole. So we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the ceiling here. Like this. That's all there is to it. Make sure the wire is in the right place. Close the ceiling. And there you go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Open Mesh cloud interface. So you gotta go to resources right from their webpage and go to web login with the cloud tracks and simply put in your username here and password and here we go and so what you're going to see here is we set this up yesterday so we, we have some data to show you and really uh, from the access point of view so right now we've got one set up which is the one from the A60 video and what we've done is we called it Media Room. You can click on it and see some more information here. So you're going to see um, some local information, our MAC address and so forth. There's no floor plan defined in this case. And in the network overview, as you may have seen briefly, you're going to see a lot of information down here. You've got devices, you have where um, what our clients are and so forth so you'll be able to see who's using what and again we went ahead and tried to use as much stuff as we could um, just bandwidth wise so we used a lot of video and we don't have any switches or else they would appear here and here are all our clients so you can see a little bit more information now it should be noted we actually uh, did it on purpose to go and use the second port off the Wi-Fi 
and fed it directly back into an Android device just to see how well that would work and that worked wonderfully. One of the interesting uh, features is you can set up what they call vouchers. That will allow you to create a landing page which you can customize and you could actually charge individuals uh, to use your Wi-Fi. So if you're in an environment for example, a, a hotel or something like that, you can go ahead and create uh, v vouchers here. And you could say, okay, well, they're valid from you know certain hours to certain hours and so forth. And you can go ahead and then charge. So obviously, if you had multiple sites, then they would appear here. And one of the things that we were looking at is having our second office uh, set up here and having different access points underneath it. So in this case I would go under my main site and I would see obviously right now I've only set up one access point but it's just you'd have a list here and if you have multiple you can just go ahead and put them all uh, on a single page if you want. And that's about a wrap up so you can see the cloud track is real simple setup so you should be able to set all this up fairly quickly.